after almost two years away, when I see the mountain and the ocean, I know I am home. They say home is where the heart is, and with my family spread all over the world, we all have one place where our heart is, and that is Cape Town. Cape Town has many things going for it. It has once again been voted one of the most beautiful cities in the world and is a top travel destination. If I was living anywhere in the world, Cape Town would be the place I'd want to go to. Cape Town's a foodie heaven, and if you consider yourself a foodie, then this is one city you just have to visit. So after my plane landed, and I had a quick look at the mountain, a very fast shower, and a little walk next to the sea, it was time to sample some marvelous Cape Town cuisine, because it's too fancy to just call it food. And with my mother and young daughter in tow, we headed to Burger and Lobster in Bree Street in central Cape Town. Um, if I may. Um, these are all 38 grand from now until 7 o'clock. And then these are all 2 for 1 until yeah. 7. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. We started off with cocktails as it was still happy hour and we got two for one. The cocktails were so good I tried to drink both of them at the same time. With a great selection of cocktails, we could have gone on a big cocktail binge, but because we wanted to eat, we decided to practice restraint and not overindulge. <laughs> Southern fried chicken, same deal, we deep fried with butter milk and sriracha batter. Uh, we top that with a sriracha mayonnaise, started with fries and a little salad. Seven samurai lobster rolls are cold lobster rolls, so it's 140 grams of lobster meat, some cold Japanese mayo, togarashi spice, pickled ginger, cucumber, caviar, and a sesame seeds. You serve it with a grilled lemon and your choice of fries. My mom ordered a sirloin with no olive oil near it as she's highly allergic and the staff were happy to oblige. Siobhan and I ordered a wolf burger which has a beef patty and a lobster medallion on a homemade brioche bun and all, as well as a lobster roll. We shared this so that we could taste it all. If you're a foodie you have to eat everything. Um, I'm Chris. Bye. The food arrived quickly and was well presented. And absolutely divine is all I can really say. And although we were so full from our meal, we couldn't resist the desserts. Siobhan 
ended up ordering the cheesecake and my mom and I each had what I swear is the world's biggest and most decadent milkshakes. But don't worry, we didn't eat all of this, this food that you're seeing here. This is just to give you a little taste of the delicious foods that they serve at this restaurant. All in all, we paid 105 US dollars for three people. And considering we had cocktails, drinks, our mains, which included steak and lobster, and those humongous decadent desserts and monster milkshakes, I reckon we got an absolute bargain. So, at Burger and Lobster, you get delicious food, great service, there's an awesome atmosphere, there's a DJ that plays music, and it also it's very reasonably priced. So even though we left absolutely stuffed, Burger and Lobster is highly recommended. So whenever you are in Cape Town, I suggest you put it at the top of your list. Definitely, it's a restaurant that you have to go to. Please hit like and subscribe and all the good stuff.